going on guys welcome back to the channel check this out this is pretty cool we're gonna be having a look at a rechargeable soldering iron here today this one's made by handskit now i've had a handskit soldering iron on the channel before this one right here usb powered and it's great i use it all the time so i didn't hesitate to grab this rechargeable version new release from handskit so got a few projects to uh work on and it's not a really nice day outside so i figured you know what this would be a good opportunity to share this one with you guys so let's get everything out of this bag here there we go so the manual well, let's take a quick look here illustrated manual looks like we've got a 1300 milliamp hour battery powering this soldering iron up adjustable voltage your power button yeah we'll review all that what else we got some more specs your voltage range 3.3 volts to 4.8 volts uh, 8 watts power temperature range 200 degrees celsius to 450 degrees celsius and it heats up in six to eight seconds so not bad i uh yeah looks pretty good we'll see how it performs here i don't think it's going to be able to do anything heavy duty but for your uh lighter duty jobs hopefully this will uh, do the trick all right let's put that aside we got a little little stand here with it i guess we would just unfold that there we go it's nice to get that we've got a fine point soldering tip included there's your charger right there, USB charger. So I'm guessing, well, we'll have a look at it. Let's pull out the soldering iron. So that's nice, nice kind of chrome finish on it there. Now right here is your adjustable uh, temperature. So you can see right there, it's labeled 4.8 volt and we can adjust that down 4.3, 3.8, all the way down to 3.3 volts there and back the other way so that's cool it's got an adjustment uh knob on the bottom there so that's where your soldering tip would uh screw into and also the charger let's undo the charger here so i believe yeah it looks like your charger just screws in you screw in the soldering iron to the charger there like that plug it in there's an indicator light on the charger so right there you can see it's currently red now so it's charging, and when it's fully charged, that red light will turn green. But we're not going to wait for it to fully charge. We're going to get at it here. So let's put that aside. We'll take the tip here. Now these tips are easy to get. I'll leave links in the description for replacement tips. And then um, a few of my soldering irons use these same tips. So you can get different. You can get uh, different size tips as well. Now to turn the soldering iron on, the power button's right here. You're going to press it five times. You can see the lights blinking there that confirms it's been turned on. Now it's not heating up yet. To heat it up, you're just going to hold the button now. And it said, what, six to eight seconds. So we should be heating up. Double check here. Oh, yeah, it's getting hot. There you can see and hear it we're just going to tin the tip here not bad right, so we've got the board set up here we're going to turn the soldering iron on or heat it up i should say now i'm just checking something here sometimes these soldering irons only allow you to hold heat to it for a certain amount of time some yeah there we go see it's blinking and it turned off so Keep that in mind. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it up on the screen if I can find. Usually it's about 15, 20 seconds, something like that. So soldering iron's hot. You just have to release the button and activate it again. Oh yeah, it's melting that pretty quick. I'm not even on the right. Well, that was quick. And we got a lot of solder on this negative lead. No problem, guys. That that actually worked out quite well. I'm impressed. That was quick. We got that lead off, no problem. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to solder that to this uh, connector here. So that's what we'll do next on here. And we're going to start by preheating the soldering iron. I still have it set, let's see, to the 4.8 volts to the highest setting. And I'm just going to go through some power cycles here. I'm finding this works best. Just let it go through a power cycle. Let it heat up. It's already starting to smoke, so I'm thinking that uh, six to eight seconds is not too far off. I'm going to go through one more time here, and you can see we're definitely up to a uh, heat here. And I'm going to be releasing that that button every, uh, you know, 
10 seconds or so and just letting go of it and pressing again to keep constant heat to the iron. I'm going to get some solder on there. Yeah, that soldered pretty good actually. I'll get that positive lead now. Yeah, that works pretty good. Definitely gets hot enough. Not a problem at all. It's nice. That worked out quite well. All right, well, that connector was no problem soldering up there. I figured we'd try on this. This is just a board here that, uh, well, a switch that's not working anymore. And look at that, these solders just fine. Now, anything smaller than this is kind of beyond my skill set. We'll get a little flux on the, the lead we're going to solder on there. Get some heat to the, to the iron. All right, this will be the last thing I do here. Get some more heat to the iron there. Let's see if we can get this to stick. Kind of at an awkward angle here. Let me just change up the angle a bit. Give myself a fighting chance. Definitely has enough heat here to uh, to do this type of work. Not the prettiest, but I got it done. Struggled a bit trying to keep it on camera for you guys, but it's on there. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to wrap this one up now with the hand skit rechargeable soldering iron. I thought it did a great job. Now, it's geared towards light duty soldering, and we gave you a few examples of that today. Anything heavier duty than what we showed you today, I don't think this would be the appropriate soldering iron to use. But, hey, for what we used it for, it worked great. I'm impressed. I'll definitely be uh, getting some more use out of this one in the future. So let's leave it at that. You guys want to get some more info on this or grab one for yourself. Links will be down below in the description. If you like this video, make sure you have a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.